I've been in this game a long time, my friends. Learned a lot of lessons along the way. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to pass on everything that I know to you guys. So this video is for all of my new and aspiring professional working drummers out there looking to get into the game. I'm gonna show you 10 items that you should have on you at all times while you out there making that money. So after a countless number of gigs, sessions, performances, church sub-ins, all kinds of stuff over the last, I don't know, 20-some years or so, there's some lessons that I've learned. There's been some items that I've been caught without in certain situations, and I've made sure at one point to never be caught without those items again. So, this, this is my bag. I take this bag to every job that I do. I got some items in here. There's some items that are too big for the bag, but I'm gonna show you what those are too. Some are gonna be painfully obvious. Some might make you go, that guy right there. So, get ready to take some notes. Let's get into this. So, let's start with the most painfully obvious one, a drum key. You should always have a drum key on you at all times. But man, I'm embarrassed to even mention how many times I've been caught during setup needing a drum key and not having one. So, one thing that I would suggest to you, put it on your keychain. I always have a drum key locked right onto my keychain. This is foolproof because the fact of the matter is, in order for you to get to your gig, you gotta leave your house. You can't leave your house without your keys. So even when you find yourself in situations where you forget that you have one on your keychain, you'll be scrambling around for one and you'll be like, oh yeah. And the other advantage to having a drum key on your keychain is that you won't leave it at the venue because you gotta get home and you can't get in your house without your keys. So. Since I started doing that, I've never, ever been caught scrambling around for a drum key. Second item that you want to make sure that you always got on you is a pack of moon gels or whatever your favorite form of muffling is. Whenever you show up to a gig, you're playing a kit that's not yours, you never know. You don't know what it's going to sound like. Previous player might not know what they're doing. And those drums might be wild and out of control. So, if you always got a pack of moon gels on you, you're always prepared. This especially comes in handy at recording sessions because there's not a whole lot of studios that keep gels on deck. So whether it's on the stage or whether it's inside of a studio while you're getting sounds, you might get that engineer in the talkback mic asking you if you can tame down the 16 inch because it's ringing a bit too much. So whatever you want to do, Gels, dots, gummies, whatever. Keep some muffling in your bag. Another thing that I keep in this bag, and this has come in handy more times than I can count. This is a small bag of extra cymbal parts. I call this my crap stand survival kit. Whenever you show up at a school or a venue or a rehearsal spot, sometimes because these small items are constantly getting ripped off, you're not gonna find them on the stand. So the last thing you wanna do is put your nice expensive cymbals on a butt naked stand. So in this bag, I have everything. I got all the essentials. I got extra wing nuts, extra felts. I got, um, I even got um, an extra hi-hat clutch in here. Hi-hat seats. Um, sleeves. Sleeves are a big thing because more often than not, you show up somewhere and there's no cymbal sleeve on the stand. So it's just worth, you know, taking a trip to the music store, go over to the Gibraltar wall and just get, you know, get a few packs of extra felts, cymbal sleeves, washers, all of that stuff. And then just keep the bag handy, keep it on you at all times, and you'll always be prepared. Now the next thing that you want to make sure that you have one of your own 
is a drum rug, some kind of drum mat, either a four by six or a five by seven. A lot of times you'll show up at a gig, maybe it's a wedding or something, um, there'll be hardwood floors, concrete floors, whatever kind of slippery floor, and there won't be a rug in the building. Now the last thing that you want to be doing while you're up there trying to play is chase down your kick drum all night. Or, you know, you don't want to scratch up somebody's expensive hardwood floor. So just run out, run out to Walmart or something, Costco, and get yourself a cheap $20, $30 rug and just keep it handy. You don't have to have it on you at all times, but you'll know. Like when you get a heads up before the gig, you know what kind of venue you'll be playing. Just in case, keep a rug in the car. Now this next one, you might find a little bit funny, but I'm serious about this. You need to trust me on this, all right? I always, always travel with a pack of Tums. You know how it is, man. You've done your sound check. There's a few hours before the gig, so you go out with the band, get some Chinese food or something, maybe get a couple of burgers. You don't want to be up on stage trying to hold it down while you got the bubble guts. So since, for the most part, in almost every situation, fast food is really the only option before you get back on stage, having some Tums handy will save your night. Now this next one, man, I cannot recommend enough because there have been so many situations, whether it's, it was at a studio or at a church, where I needed one and nobody had one. So this is especially for drummers that travel with ears. You know you got your ears on you. You need to keep one of these with you at all times. This is a one eighth to a quarter inch adapter. If you're in a situation, you show up, especially if you're at a church, there's an avion system there, but you don't want to use the cans that came with it. If you're anything like me, man, you got this dope hair. I don't want to be messing this up with these cans on my head. So I always prefer to travel with my in-ears. Problem is, every single pair of in-ears has a mini jack on it. And it's pretty much a gamble whether or not there's going to be a mini jack on that AVM system or that in-ear system, whatever they got using on there. Sometimes they just plug it in the, the, um, the headphones. The headphones already come with a quarter inch jack, so they don't keep one around. So do yourself a favor. Go out, pick yourself up one or 15 of these mini to quarter inch adapters, and you'll always be prepared. Another thing that I think you should keep on you at all times, I think it's in this pocket, yeah. Hand towel. Keep a towel on stage with you the entire time. Even if you use sticks that have the active grip type thing on it, or if they're dipped in whatever to help with the grip, it's still worth keeping your hands dry while you're playing. So whenever you get the opportunity, like between songs or whatever, your hands start to get a little bit sweaty, keep that towel handy, boom, good to go. This is especially useful in the summertime outdoor gigs where it's hot, you're playing those festivals. Those hands are gonna get sweaty regardless of what sticks you're using. So just make sure that you got a towel with you. Now this next one, you might have already, you might not, but if you don't, go over to the App Store, whatever phone you're using, Apple, Android, and get yourself a good metronome app for your phone. I highly suggest shelling out the five bucks, six bucks, whatever, for a really good professional paid version of a really good metronome app. I use one called Tempo. Tempo is probably the most popular one with drummers because it also includes set list and all those other cool features. You want the full range of uh, time signatures available too. So you want to make sure you get all of that stuff. So again, I suggest getting yourself the Tempo app. I'm not 100% sure if there's a version for Android, but it's definitely available for iPhone. Either way, whatever phone you're using, go to the App Store and get a really good metronome app. Now this brings us to the next item. Since we're on the topic 
of mobile devices. One thing that, um, that I recently just started to make sure I, I always have on me is phone mount. This is important for a couple of reasons. You need something to mount your phone if you're going to use the, um, the metronome app. Or, of course, you know, we're in this age of self-promotion and social media. It's always good to document your playing. Every opportunity that you get to record yourself on the stage, do it. When you're a self-employed musician, you are essentially your own business. And for you to get business, for you to get customers, you got to advertise. Social media presence is super important. YouTube, IG, Facebook, those are your main three. So yeah, jump on Amazon or go to Best Buy, whatever, get yourself a really good, solid phone mount, GoPro mount, whatever. Um, but keep some kind of mount on you. Now this last one, man, I saved for last because it is easily and by far the most important purchase I have ever made. I've been carrying one of these around for the last 20 years and I will continue to carry it around. So everybody just stop talking for a second. Drum roll please. A fan. A $15 fan is the most important purchase I have ever made and I will not gig without it. This to me is just common sense, man. Your car runs better when it's at a stable temperature and so will you. It is critically important to stay cool while you're up there performing because heat will slow you down, it'll make you sluggish, it'll raise your heart rate even more when you're really hot. A cheap $15, $20 fan will prevent all of that, keep you cool all the time. If you're cool, you'll stay relaxed. When you're relaxed, you play better. So if you don't already have one, run out right now and get yourself a fan. So there's one last item that I just want to give honorable mention to while we're here, and that's a good surge protected power bar. It's just handy, you know, for, you know, plugging your fan in or keeping your device charged during the show so you don't run out of juice on the way home. But, um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of reasons to keep a really good power bar um, handy with you. So it's worth spending the dough on a really good one and keeping it in your bag. So that's it, man. I'm done. New viewers, new subscribers. This is the type of free information that you get here on this channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. If you haven't visited my online shop yet, make sure you go check it out. Link will be in the description box. I got tons of different shirts and hoodies in there specifically for drummers. I'm sure there's going to be a couple in there that you think are pretty cool. To all my veteran drummers out there, those of y'all that's been in the game for a good minute, you got some free advice for the youngins, drop a comment below, man. Let us know what items you like to have on you. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you next video.